A clean set of wheels can really make a car stand out and look freshly detailed. However, for a lot of people just getting into detailing, maybe you've just passed your driving test, or you're just giving your car a regular weekend wash, cleaning the wheels is probably the step you hate the most, and maybe you even put it off sometimes. And certainly that was the case for me when I first passed my driving test nearly 20 years ago. I hated doing the wheels on the car that I had at the time. However, I have learned a lot in that time and today I'm going to be sharing three top tips with you on making cleaning the wheels much easier and more pleasurable. Hi guys, welcome back to the detailing space and as I said, I'm going to be sharing three tips with you guys, hopefully to make cleaning your wheels a little bit easier and maybe a little bit more pleasurable or at least less daunting for you guys going forward. First of all, let's settle an argument in the comments then, do you clean your wheels first or last? So before you wash the car or after you wash the car? Hopefully if you're a regular subscriber, you will know I clean my wheels first. If you're not a subscriber, make sure you, know, you do subscribe and give this video a like. Anyway then, the first tip that I'm going to give you is using the right products. So if you're just using a bucket and sponge and some dish soap, then yeah, get rid of that straight away. You want to dedicate a car shampoo for the car, of course. And for the wheels, there's a wide variety of cleaners out there on the market these days. But I'll just go through a couple with you guys. I've just got some here to hand. So I personally prefer a more traditional wheel cleaner. So it's basically this is a wheel shampoo from Garage Therapy. I've got one over here as well from Car Chem. This is called Alloy Clean. As I say then, these are more traditional kind of wheel cleaners then, so you spray them all over the alloy. Normally let them sit for a few minutes and then agitate them accordingly. And we'll get onto that in the next stage. The reason I like these then is these are great for maintenance washers. They're not gonna strip off any coatings or any protection you may have on the wheels. Now the other line of products you will get for cleaning wheels, a reactive kind of wheel cleaner. So we've got red line wheel cleaner here from Turtle Wax. We've got Pulse reactive cleaner from Detail Online and we've got Huel from Stiana Gloss. All of these ones are essentially a hybrid of your traditional kind of wheel cleaner, but they also have some iron fallout removing agents in them as well. So what you will find with these, as you can see on the bottle there is your wheels, the silver, let's say, they will turn purple as the product reacts with the brake dust and iron contaminants on the wheels. Now these products are great, especially if you don't clean your wheels all that regular, or you have neglected them for a long time. So you wanna apply this, follow the instructions, leave it for three to five minutes, do not let it dry, and you'll see that the wheel turns purple. And often you can just rinse it off and you can be done at that. Um, it depends how grubby the wheels are. You may have to give it a second hit and then agitate. And that leads us then on to step two. So once again, if you're just getting into detailing, you're probably using that big old yellow sponge, probably the same sponge you're then going to be using on the paintwork. And I think that is why a lot of people actually wash the wheels after. As I said, ditch that sponge. You don't need it. For the wheels, you want some dedicated tools for this, and they're not overly expensive. Some of these that I've got here are, um, however you can get cheaper alternatives. So let's start with your more traditional kind of wheel brush. So this one's from Easy Detail. This has lasted me a long time, despite what people say, and it's really wide, gets into the barrels nice and deep, and if you've got, say, five spoke wheels, this is gonna be great to get in there. I believe these may retail as well for about 20-ish pounds. However, if I just quickly, yep, come off camera, you can get your more generic looking ones like this, which you can pick up from supermarkets and the high street retailers. You can also buy smaller versions like this. People will often use these to clean out exhausts as well. Um, but these are great if you've got a multi-spoke design or maybe a split five-spoke design you need to get in there. So the, these kind of brushes are great, especially if you have been neglecting your wheels and you really need to get some agitation done in there to remove the caked on brake dust. Next up then, we've got another kind. These are the more modern design and these are for let's say maintenance and we're getting a lot of cars these days with diamond cut finishes or gloss black painted wheels you've got your traditional wheel woolies let's put it over there where you can probably see them so these come in three different sizes usually we've got a big old chunky one there we've got a medium size one and a small one all depending on the spoke design that set of wheel woolies i've probably had that for about 10 or 15 years those wheel woolies 
um, and they're still going this one's starting to look a bit worn at the back end there and then you also get the microfiber style this one's from stiana gloss i'm not sure of the retail price for these they can cost a little bit more but they are definitely worth it especially for a maintenance tool if you're going to you know wash your wheels every week and you've got gloss black these are less likely to scratch the paintwork of the wheels so there's that finally just a bonus one i'm going to throw this one in this is a wheel wash mate again a lot of people provide these this is from dodo juice it's called the captain crevice and the idea with these is you can wear it it's got a nice little thumb pouch on there and you get into the back of the alloy as well again great if you've got a nice set of let's say show wheels or something you want to maintain and keep looking its best basically so you don't necessarily need something like that but i would 100 percent say ditch the yellow sponge and at the very least get a brush like this hey guys sorry to interrupt this video it's just a quick request from you guys as viewers i'm working on a project that i've been planning for well over a year now and it's something i've had in my head for the last five or six years um and basically i can't go into it too much right now but i need some old footage and photos from you lovely viewers Ideally, detailing, valeting related, cleaning your car with your parents, or maybe you was old enough to be driving in the 80s and 90s. The older, the better, and the more footage I can grab, the better as well. Um, of course, you will be fully credited if I do use your videos or your photos. If you can send them on email to randomlyset at hotmail.co.uk, that would be great. Um, I'll put that down here just now. And as long as you've got full ownership and it's your property that you're sending me, that's all I ask of you. So yeah, more information will be coming soon, but for the meantime, let's crack on with this video. So they're the products that you're gonna need then. So yeah, they're not gonna break the bank, especially if you get something like the Garage Therapy One. This is not a promotion by the way, but that's a dilutable product as well. So that will last you a long time. And invest, in my opinion, invest in a really good wheel brush. It will last you for a very long time. Tip number three then, this is probably the biggest and most important tip regular maintenance washers do not leave your wheels wash them every single week every time you're washing the car why aren't you washing your wheels it will make future cleaning much easier do not let the brake dust build up and become yeah it feels like a chore to do them you just look at them oh i really don't want to do that if you keep on top of that and clean it every week It'll take you five or 10 minutes to whiz round and clean the wheels, possibly while the snow foam's dwelling on the car. So the whole hog argument about do you clean the wheels before or after, might have just settled it here now actually. Clean them before, as I said, you can snow foam your car, you can be pre-rinsing your car, whatever it is you want to do to your car, you can do that beforehand and carry on, you know, clean the wheels while something else is working, right? while your water buckets are filling up with water to wash the car. So. Yeah, it shouldn't take that long on regular maintenance washers. Just don't neglect the wheels. So yeah, that's pretty much it. And they're the three top tips. I hope you found those useful. If you'd like to see more videos like this, leave a comment below what kind of tip videos you'd like to see. Um, hopefully they won't all waffle on as long as this one feels like it has done. I'm not sure how long this has ended up finishing in the editing room. Um, but anyway, I hope you have enjoyed this and you found it useful. If you have, smash that like button. Also leave a comment below. Let's get that argument settled. Do you wash the wheels at the beginning or at the end? And also make sure you click this icon just here to subscribe to the channel if you're not already a subscriber. And as always, I'll leave a couple of videos here that we think you might enjoy. Hope you've enjoyed this. And we'll see you next week.